to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. For today's What I Eat In A Day video, I really wanted to create something a little bit different and create a way for me to make vegan meals for two. So, as you may know, I recently moved in with my friend Kara, and for this whole day of eating, I cooked meals for herself and for me so that you can make vegan meals that serve two people. <laughs> they are really, really easy and delicious vegan meals for two, so hopefully they can inspire you to get into the kitchen, get creative, and cook meals for yourself and for someone you love. If you're new to my channel, by the way, hello, I am Amanda, welcome. Alrighty, let's get into the video. <laughs> Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So for breakfast this morning, we are making banana choc chip pancakes. And to start, I put some soy milk as well as some apple cider vinegar into a bowl in order to curdle the soy milk. Then in a bowl, I put some buckwheat flour as well as some almond meal, buckwheat flour and almond meal my favorite combo with gluten-free baking. And then I added in some baking powder, some pink salt and some raw sugar before adding the soy milk and apple cider vinegar mix as well as some vanilla and half of a mashed banana. If you're new to my channel, just so you know, all of the full recipe ingredients, everything will be down in the description box below. So I just whisked this pancake mix together before adding in some vegan choc chips and stirring them through. Then on the heat, I put in some vegan butter into the bottom to like grease the pan. And then I cooked my pancakes as you usually would and these turned out so well I would say they're probably arguably the best vegan pancakes I have ever made I was super super proud of them with these I then just serve some strawberries as well as a drizzle of peanut butter and it is super simple but super delicious and these went down an absolute treat I just split this stack into two so that it could serve my housemate and I then when I move on to lunch I decided to make a like chickpea salad thing that I honestly just made up on the spot. And to start with, I cut up some cherry tomatoes and then in a bowl, I tossed them with some olive oil, some pink salt, some pepper and some garlic. I tossed this all through so it was nice and well coated. And then I baked these in the oven for about like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, at 180 degrees Celsius. Then I had a can of chickpeas and I washed them very thoroughly. I love chickpeas. Again, if you're new to my channel, you will learn this. <laughs> and then I chopped up some fresh basil as well as some fresh garlic. And then I'm gonna use these to make like a pesto chickpea kind of vibe. Uh, as I said, making it up on the spot. <laughs> but this, I had some basil, some garlic, garlic, some chickpeas, and then I also added in some nutritional yeast and some salt. And I just tossed this all together well until it was well coated and it smelled like pesto, super, super delicious. Then I roasted these in the oven again for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then in the sink, I am washing some kale. This is about half of a bunch of kale. Kale goes not very far when you cook it, but very far when you don't cook it, I've discovered. Anyway, here I also have some broccolini, which I just put into a pan with some water to like steam it. And there's my beautiful chickpeas roasting away. Then on two big plates, I put some kale before adding on some fresh spinach, which I had washed as well. Did you hear that? Spinach, not spinach. <laughs> then I added on my steamed broccolini before adding on my pesto chickpeas. These were so good. I think I'm gonna start making them just as like a snack. Then I put on my roasted cherry tomatoes, which I had allowed to cool for a little while before adding on some guacamole, some spring onions, and some sesame seeds. This was a really, really big, nourishing lunch. I felt really, really good after getting my greens in for the day. Then moving on to my afternoon snack. And I love a sweet afternoon snack. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I drink iced chocolates a lot. So I'm finally showing you how I make my iced chocolates, which is with some cacao powder, maple syrup, and water. And I mix it 
all together, as you can see. Then in two medium-sized glasses, I put a whole bunch of ice as well as some soy milk, which is my plant milk of choice at the moment. And then I poured in some of my cacao maple mixture. Mm, so delicious. I think I'm gonna have to make one for myself like right now. But yeah, I just stir it all in pretty thoroughly. It is a super, super yummy snack and I love having one of these in the afternoon. Then moving on to dinner and I am starting with passion fruit as well as some lemon and some spring onion. And I'm just chopping these up. Finally, I'm putting the passion fruit into a bowl. I feel like you guys are like, wait, what are you making passion fruit with for dinner right now? I'm adding in some lemon and then I'm also adding in some crushed pineapple as well as some coriander. So I'm making like a fresh pineapple passion fruit salsa to go in some tacos this evening. Then in a pan, I put some olive oil as well as some corn to like char this corn up to add to tacos. And then we are moving on to chickpea tempeh, which you see a lot of on my channel. And that's because it's one of my favorite forms of protein to have in my diet. I then added on some nutritional yeast and then I cooked this in the pan until it was nice and crispy. Then I have three soft shell tacos and I started with first putting on some cos lettuce, then putting on my charred corn, as well as my fresh pineapple salsa, my chickpea tempeh, some guacamole and then some fresh coriander and lime to serve. This was a really nourishing dinner and I had my housemate Kara. She had some tofu instead of some tempeh, which was really easy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you next time.